Gilpin scrap metals in our Newton Abbott facility. We take in boats, break them up and dispose of them. Boats typically are classed as uh, ELVs, which means they're end of life vehicles, and many of the vessels contain hazardous waste. So we can use our heavy haulage vehicles, we can go out, collect the boats, bring them back to our yard and dispose of them. Typically when we go out and collect the boats, we would issue a hazardous waste transfer note, which we can uh, give to the client, that covers him for his duty of care to look after that waste. We then bring the boats back to our yard uh, and before we do anything to them, we survey them. We are looking for any hazardous substances inside the boat, such as asbestos. Apart from, say, a small boat like this, a small fiberglass boat, which has obviously got no engine, uh, no flares or gas bottles, nearly every other boat has something in it. So even a sailing yacht has an engine. Within the engine, there's engine oil, there's the fuel oils that go with the engine. There's the battery, which is hazardous waste. On some of the older boats, they can also contain asbestos, which needs to be removed under controlled conditions, which our asbestos company can do. Quite often on the old wooden ones like this, the holes have been anti-fouled, and that anti-foul paint contains uh, heavy metals. Those all have to be removed separately and go to their different uh, waste disposal streams. Come in, we've got 100 mile an hour winds, uh, rain that's going sideways, and it's freezing cold. The job today is to break up the 20 meter X fishing boat. The vessel in the hull is beyond repair. So now we're going to break it up into as big bigger pieces as possible, load it on the road going transport, and then take it back to the yard where it'll be further sorted out into the different components. For, uh, for disposal. On the rare occasions when, when they are too big uh, and they're not safe to, to tow, then uh, we have bro broken them up in place. It's quite a high-tech sea-going oil pollution boot. It's got a heavy chain on the bottom and a skirt. The skirt hangs down and obviously the sausage keeps it all afloat on top. Hopefully the broken debris won't even won't even get into the water. So the boom really is just uh, just a precaution, just in case you know any of the any of the broken wood does uh, start to float when the tide comes in. Tomorrow, start breaking up the boat. driver right behind me there as you can see is uh, right into the uh, the hull of the ship now we're going to keep the hull intact we're going because we're against the tide starting to come back into high tide so what we're doing is we're going to be taking out the guts of it if you like uh, and that way when the high tide comes up all any debris will stay inside the ship internally until tomorrow when we come back in the low tide and then we'll start attacking the, uh, the hull itself and uh, clearing it all away Yep, that's all that done. Within, within the week, yes, three tides, uh, everything loaded away uh, and all gone back to the yard uh, and another week to sort it out now. Uh, we're here today working for Truro Recycling. We're involved in uh, demolition and uh, disposal of the decommissioned um, fishing boats. Uh, we've got two trawlers here today roughly about 140 tons each. We're going to lift those out with the 1,000 ton crane, uh, which is set up in the scrap yard, and then we're going to uh, cut them up with our 70 ton demolition machine with either large scrap shear, which is what the steel vessels need. It's a bit easier to do the wooden ones and, and break the wooden trawlers up, the very old ones, but the, the steel ones uh, do need the specialist equipment. So uh, these vessels have worked their life mainly running out of the Cornish coast. 
Uh, their last base for these, these boats was in uh, Newlyn, where they were decommissioned. The licence was removed and now they've been towed up, uh, up to Truro. Yeah, so uh, we've lifted the, uh, the boat out now. Uh, it's funny how it looks a lot bigger now it's out of the water in the yard. Uh, and now we've just got to prepare to cut it in half, so you know, two 70 tonne pieces. So uh, a week's work, just uh, chop, 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 munch, 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 yeah, downsizing the, downsizing the scrap, downsizing the boat into uh, scrap that we can uh, cut the size and then uh, move on.